completely sealed. It also tells you it does not contain any iodine. So just in case you do have an allergy that you're not gonna, along with latex-free gloves, just so you're aware. I'm going to review the patient's chart for any previous catheterizations or any impairments, um, pathological conditions that would cause impairment of the catheter. I'm going to review the orders for medical necessity. I'm going to ask my patient and look in their chart if they have any allergies to iodine and latex. I'm going to gather my supplies, which is the Foley catheter kit. I'm going to knock. Hello, my name is Angie. I'm going to be your student nurse today. Um, can I have your name and date of birth? Judy Smith, 10 1963 Judy, do you have any allergies to strawberry and penicillin? Uh, that's good. Um, you don't have any allergies to latex or iodine that you're not aware of? No. Okay, good. Um, I'm here today to put in your Foley catheter. Do you have any questions? No? All right, so I perform my hand hygiene. I'm putting on my gloves. I'm going to make sure that the, the bed is at an acceptable working height. I don't want to be hunched over. Um, I'm gonna pull back the blanket. I'm gonna look at her perineal area, assessing for any anatomical landmarks, any redness, any odor, any drainage. I could put a waterproof pad, but I have the chunks underneath already, and I would provide any perineal hygiene as needed. I would, because she's a female, have her rotate her hips and knees out, making sure that I had a wide enough area to work. I'm gonna cover her back up while I get the kit ready. And I'm going to make sure there's enough light. I'm going to take off my gloves and perform hand hygiene. I'm going to come over to my kit. It's on my bedside table. I am going to open my kit. It tells me to peel both layers. So I'm going to peel up this portion and open up the flap. I'm going to remove the kit. on here that the expiration is 228 of 2024. It's a 14 French with a 5ml bag. I'm going to open my kit. My kit is sealed on the bottom, so I'm going to open it up carefully. Open the edges away from myself. discard top sheet I'm going to place back underneath my patient shiny side down dull side up take out my gloves take out this pad move my kit over so I can open up my gloves gloves on. I'm not going to put them below my waist. I'm going to pinch the middle and get rid of my garbage. I'm going to come to my kit. I don't need the cup. I can put the lubrication inside the kit. Pour the iodine over. I have my syringe. I'm just going to take off the cap. Set it back inside my kit. Put it to the side. I'm going to move my tray. And I am going to make sure that my bag is closed. It's tough closed. I'm going to take the catheter out of the plastic. I'm just going to pull it down. I'm going to dip this inside the lubrication. I'm going to stick it 
stick the syringe onto the end of the fork. Now I'm gonna take it by my patient. So I'm gonna pinch the sides, use my thumbs on the side of the box, and then bring it towards my patient. I'm gonna determine what is my dirty hand, and so I'm going to open, and I'm going to take my clean hand, I'm going to take my cotton ball, I'm going to swipe once, swipe on the side, swipe on the side, swipe down the middle. I'm going to pick up my catheter. I'm going to tell my patient to bear down and I'm going to insert. Until I see urine in the tubing. When I see urine, I'm going to pinch the tube. I'm going to grab the syringe. I'm going to insert. Five mLs of water. It's just coming out of the side. My water until my balloon is inflated. I'm going to pull back to make sure the balloon is inflated. I'm going to take the kit out, secure it to the leg, make sure it's below the level of the bladder, take off my gloves, clean my patient off, clean up my stuff. We're in a comfortable position. To make sure that they can have it taken out, I'm going to come in, knock again, introduce myself, ask for two patient identifiers, Judy Smith, 10 2 Judy, do you have any allergies? Um, penicillin strawberries. Today I'm going to be taking out your Foley cap here. I am going to perform hand hygiene and put on my gloves. I just want to take a look at your perineal area before we start in case we need to do any cleaning up. I'm just going to detach it from the leg. I am going to put the syringe on the end, getting out all the water. I'm going to take the catheter, I'm going to pull it out, and inspect the tip for any blood, mucus, or signs of infection. So I'm going to take this. I would have made sure that there was no urine in here prior, I would have emptied it out. I would clean her up. Place her in a comfortable position, throw my stuff in the trash. Instead of the cotton balls, you're going to take this swab and swipe down. Can you see how it's wet now? Mm -hmm. So I can actually see it. Put it off to the side. Clean on the outside. Clean on the outside. Or around. Tip. Around. Around. 